Well, hey there, piano lovers. We are fresh back from NAMM, the world's premier music trade show, and we're thrilled to be able to share our top selections for the best digital pianos under $1,000 in 2023. You definitely do not want to miss this video. Now, quick note before we get started, all prices discussed here are in US dollars. Even though we're located in Canada, and a lot of people who visit our site will see Canadian pricing, American pricing is just such a more useful reference point for our viewers all around the world. So first on the list is the Kawai ES120, which I have to give the title of the best tone on a portable piano under $1,000. Kawai is a giant in this industry and we cover a lot of their products here on the channel. And in many markets and categories, they've met or exceeded Yamaha's popularity, judging by tools such as Google Trends. Kawai uses uncompressed individual note stereo sampling to drive the harmonic imaging engine inside the ES120. And the detail, fullness, and realism you get from the instrument is truly top notch. To unlock the full audiophile potential in the instrument, you will want to pair it with a great set of headphones worth a few hundred dollars or just enjoy the onboard speakers and be sure to use the speaker EQ function. It also has a modern sleek look and an interface that's easy to understand. And on top of that, it's now equipped with both Bluetooth audio and MIDI. Match it up with a stand and triple pedal and you turn it into a console or leave it portable and take advantage of its light weight. It also received extra padding in the action to extend the life of the mechanism as well as make the keys more quiet for bystanders. Next on our list is the Yamaha DGX 670, the much celebrated follow-up to the 660. It's got the soul of a professional arranger keyboard matched to a basic weighted keyboard and by far and away has the deepest level of functionality of any digital piano available for $1,000 in today's market. Arrangers and sequencers do require some existing musical knowledge and basic theory to operate, so it's unlikely that brand new players will unlock its full potential. However, its hundreds of tones and its easy to use piano room mode will be great fun, even for a beginner, and hobbyist musicians with some experience would be hard pressed to find a piano with more depth without spending thousands more or downgrading to a non-weighted key action. You'll want to keep this one pretty stationary with a weight approaching 50 pounds, but Yamaha makes an attractive matching stand and pedal set that quickly turns this into a home-friendly accent. The FP30X from Roland is the pro player's Honda Civic of the digital piano world. It's well-priced, lean in size and weight, but it's packed with expert level features. It's equipped with the PHA4 action, which has a triple sensor and is fully weighted with escapement. The action has many fans, including me, and along with Yamaha's P515, sits on the heavier side of key actions compared to most. The piano has quarter inch outputs, USB audio interface for easy DAW integration, Bluetooth audio and MIDI, and when used with Roland's piano app, gives you a live arranger function and the full general MIDI 2 sound bank with 300 plus sounds. Add the BMC chip with 256 notes of polyphony and a pair of 11 watt onboard speakers and it's pretty hard to poke any holes in the value that this brings to real life stage use or in home practicing. For just $100 more than Kawhi's ES120 and 200 more than the lean and mean FP30X, Roland's FPE50 delivers an outstanding combination of features and functions that make it one of the best buys in the industry today. And while the arranger functionality isn't quite as deep or complex as the DGX 670, it does have the largest onboard list of sounds in this category of instruments at nearly a thousand, plus 100 styles and rhythms to play along with, a chord sequencer function for easy gigging tracks, deep off-board editing of any of the tones through the Zencore synth architecture, and a simple player-friendly interface. And that's before we add what's arguably the best piano action of the lot, the PHA4 from Roland. And I can't forget to mention the fact that even though it shares the same amplifier rating as the FP30X, the actual speaker performance on the FPE50 is by far and away the fullest of any piano on this list, which may be relevant to those planning on using its extensive mic functionality 
and recording. For everybody from the fun-seeking hobbyist to the pro players or weekend warriors, the FPE50 has struck a unique balance in the marketplace that has us declaring it the best overall value. Next on our list is the best look and portability with the PXS3100 from Casio. A special mention definitely needs to go to this instrument. With an arranger function that's somewhere between the complexity of the Kawhi ES920 and Roland's new FPE50, hundreds of onboard sounds and a respectable onboard speaker system that's ideal for busking or on-the-go rehearsals, the PXS3100 isn't just the best looking machine in the bunch, it's also the lightest weight. And it's the only one that you can operate with standard or rechargeable AA batteries. Whereas the DGX670 has prioritized maximum functionality, and the Roland FPE50 has prioritized the pro player experience, the Casio comes in with maximum visual and portable appeal. It remains popular with our customer base to this day and shares quite a bit of lineage with the newer upscale PXS6000 model. And finally, we get to Kawhi's KDP75, our pick for best console in this class. It's largely an ES120 in console form, but if you don't need the portability and you can deal with a few less sounds, the KDP75 delivers a super capable playing experience in an attractive cabinet with the fattest sample set of the category and the second best speaker performance next to the Roland FPE50. It may be a little light on features since a lot of what you're buying here is the stand in the triple pedal board, but compared with the other limited console options in this range from Donner, Casio, or Korg, the KDP75 stands out as having the best sonic experience. There's absolutely no phasing, distortion is minimal at maximum volume, and the stereo field is wide, but not unnatural, and the complexity of the piano sound is really nicely presented. Check the links below to find more information on all of the pianos we've mentioned here, and we try to get to as many questions and comments below as we possibly can. So that's our complete list of best digital pianos under $1,000. Thank you so much for waiting for the playing samples. Here we go.